Teachers with plus 20 years of experience how have kids changed? My father retired recently after 40 years as a teacher and then principal, citing being tired with dealing with the role. So when he said that I asked him this exact same question, and his reply was, the kids haven't changed. Kids are kids. It's the parents who have changed. In general what he meant is that the parents and school used to be on the same side, but now for the most part parents question and battle them constantly. Our youth now love luxury. They have bad manners, contempt for authority, they show disrespect for their elders, and love chatter in place of exercise. They no longer rise when elders enter the room. They contradict their parents, chatter before company, gobble up their food, and tyrannize their teachers. Socrates. I'm also reminded of this memorable scene from The Breakfast Club. Principal Richard Vernon what did you want to be when you were young? Carl the janitor. When I was a kid, I wanted to be John Lennon. Principal Richard Vernon Carl. Don't be a goof. I'm trying to make a serious point. I've been teaching for 22 years. Each year, these kids get more and more arrogant. Carl the janitor bullshit, man. Come on, Vern. The kids haven't changed, you have. You took up teaching, because you thought it would be fun, you could have summer vacations off. Then you found out it was actually work and that really bummed you out. Principal Richard Vernon these kids turned on me. They think I'm a big joke. Carl the janitor come on. If you were 16, what would you think of you? Principal Richard Vernon Carl, you think I give one rat's ass what these kids think of me? Carl the janitor yes, I do. Principal Richard Vernon you think about this. When you get old, these kids. When I get old, they are going to be running the country. Carl the janitor yeah. Principal Richard Vernon this is the thought that wakes me up in the middle of the night. That when I get older, these kids are going to take care of me. Carl the janitor I wouldn't count on it. I work with preschoolers and it's not the kids that have changed, although their language is really bad. I've had a number of 3 and 4 year olds tell me to fuck off. The thing that's changed the most is the parents. Lack of involvement, neglect and general apathy run rampant. Trying to get them to a conference or even a special meeting is like pulling teeth. We have many kids here from 7am to 5.50pm. We spend almost all of their waking hours with them. The parents can't get them in the door fast enough and wait till the last minute to pick them up. I feel bad for so many of these kids. Edit. I'm getting a lot of parents have to work yes I know that. Most of the families in my center are not working state funded program they are the ones I'm speaking about. The families who do work are more involved, at least by phone and notes. They make an effort and really seem to be doing the best they can. I called my mom last time this was posted. She'd been teaching for about 17 years or so. She said that children are expected to pass, whether they should or not, and if they are having trouble with anything, it's automatically the teacher's fault. Parents are major factors in this. Mama Bear said that half the time a student isn't doing too well she'll have a parent-teacher conference and finds that the parents are ignorant as hell. One of my teachers from high school used to let kids go outside and fight if they were having problems. He says now that everyone is a pansy and will use social media and other things that don't solve the problem. He also says there are way too many kids who cry about every little thing and are bigger pansies. Gotta love das auf. My mom has been a high school math and science teacher for 30 years. She says that kids today don't know what it's like to study because everything is so easy to find now. Instead of going to your local library, you search Google. Instead of reading a book, you pull out your smartphone. Kids don't have to study as much in high school and then they get to college and have no idea what to do for this huge research paper on a vague topic that has no reliable information on Wikipedia. Other than that, she agrees with the rest of the comments that it's mainly the parents and school system that has changed for the worse. Her solution is to make learning fun. In her physics class, she has the students build hovercrafts, beds of nails, potato cannons, and catapults. She does experiments like having the kids build cages that will hopefully keep an egg from breaking when dropped from the roof, sending an electric current through a pickle to make it light up, shooting a bullet into a stack of soaking wet phone books. This is done at a shooting range by a professional and going to the beach to launch water balloons into the ocean. They don't pop and she has the kids retrieve.
them so they can be launched again. Littering is bad. She's been doing these same things for the last 30 years and I've never met one of her current or previous students who hated her class. She keeps her chemistry supplies in a china cabinet in her classroom, she has a framed program from a Stephen Hawking lecture she attended, that he signed by running it over with his wheelchair, and she talks about it with the same excitement the kids have, when they talk about how Katy Perry looked at them once at a concert. Teaching math and science is her passion, not just her profession, and I think one of the biggest changes in the last 20 years is how few of these types of teachers we have left in America. Edit, regarding the first paragraph, I was not trying to say the internet or Google is not a good research tool. I use it all the time to find information, and it is awesome that we have it at our disposal these days. It's much more efficient than a library. My point is that kids today think Google is the only tool in their research tool bag, and are lost without their precious technology. I'm, barely, old enough to remember what it's like to study for a paper without the internet. I remember how to use a card catalog to find books that might be acceptable sources. Today, most kids only know card catalogs as those weird dresses with the tiny drawers that people on Pinterest repropose into art supply cabinets. I wasn't trying to downplay Google's benefits to the studying process, I was just saying Google isn't the only option and a lot of kids these days think it is. Well. I'm a teacher, just not one with 20 years, but that really doesn't seem to matter here on Reddit, and it all depends on where you live. I teach at a very small school in rural North Dakota. I have 23 students 9 to 12, so even though it is my first year I'm very familiar with the students and their parents. I'm not coming in here talking about the change in 20 years, just that you can't generalize it that way. The students from inner city to extremely rural would have changed differently. While a lot of blame for change gets placed on the government, it has more to do with the times we live in. Never in human history, history, I teach history, have children had such a significantly different childhood than their parents, and even more so than the next older generations, than the present. That kind of divide has made it so the older folks, I, E, people with 20 years under their belts, look at younger generations with a sigh of hopelessness. They see children growing up different, and it's is only natural that they feel that they are being raised slash taught wrong, because the kids are brought up differently than the observer. I believe that the bigger question is not how children have changed, but how we can change to keep pace with the changing world. What is the point of me handing out a worksheet that is filled with arbitrary facts and dates that a student can simply google the answers for? I truly enjoy finding ways to make the students think, rather than find the answer in a textbook. I have met many teachers already, and will meet more before my time is up. That being said, if someone said, that oh the students nowadays are not the same caliber for blah blah blah, but they haven't changed their methods over the course of 20 years, I will pretty much disregard what they say. I don't believe, that I'm being obnoxious in that regard. Just that more than anything teachers need to be flexible, to not only do the job, but also ensure, that the students are equipped to make good choices. Edit edition I'm reading more, and more comments, and I notice, that people mention the parenting side. From my little school I can probably give a good look at the other side of the coin, a school where the parents care. I don't mean care as in hover in, and blame the teacher, but more that the parents here are very supportive, and play an active role in the student's education. During PTCS I had the pleasure of beating every child's parents save for one, they had to harvest, for my students 7 to 12. Some wonder if that has a huge impact, and I can't say for sure. What I can say, is that the students here all attend when they can and all put the effort forward. They were used to very subpar instruction in history, and it wasn't a big jump for them to go from almost no instruction to writing me a four-page research paper on various aspects of Roman civilization. That is with citations, and with original ideas. I was impressed, and I'll let them know often. I have seen, in other schools, what happens when the parents don't care, and it takes a special student to keep going on the straight and narrow. My brother and I are 17 years apart. When I went to school, if you were gay, your life was absolute hell. This was the late 90s. We had one guy that never came out, but it was pretty obvious to everyone. I never participated in the bullying, but I never stood up for the guy either. I was 5 feet 9 inches 115 pounds, 
Pretty small myself. I recently went back home to visit my family and my brother had some friends over to study. Two of his friends were gay. My brother is CPT of the wrestling, lacrosse, and QB of the football team. Super popular kid. I asked him privately if anyone gave him grief for having gay friends. His response was, why would they? His total look bewilderment made me really proud of him and his generation. Their music sucks, but their heart is in the right place. BTW this was in central Ohio. I posted this same comment in a similar. My mom's two years away from retiring, and I've sat in on her classes my entire life. She teaches high school and I can 100% back her up when she says the kids get worse and worse every year. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that she teaches in a fairly poor area so the kids don't have the same opportunities. For whatever reason though, they are so disrespectful and lazy. She's a strict hardass and knows how to lay down the law, so I don't think she's just a pushover and kids take advantage of her. And yeah, parents have also gotten worse. A dad accused her selling grades for cheese, and he won when she got a formal write-up for it, but I think it affects her differently than the other stories I've read. Overwhelmingly, the parents of her students don't value education, so they don't put any effort in at home to make sure their child is doing well which then leads them to skip class all the time and never do homework. Not a teacher, but figured my old chemical teacher's experience might be a good contribution. He taught for 42 years, 40 of them at my high school, and only retired last year. His number one complaint was that standards had gone down. That is, it was easier to get an A, and it was easier to be part of an app or higher level class. As a result, he found that students were less prepared for difficult classes both in high school and college. However, he never blamed the students for it. He always pointed to government programs as the cause of it. Rather than improve the quality of education, so more kids would pass, he argued that the government was instead just lowering standards. Since I'm here anyway, I'd like to give my opinion as someone who has been alive for 18 of the last 20 years. I definitely saw a massive change in kids. From preschool to my senior year, many more kids felt entitled to grades. This was true both of higher level and lower level classes. I've seen 17 year olds have a fit in an app class because they were getting a B for the quarter rather than an A. I've also heard a million and one complaints from people that their math teachers were giving them shitty grades. English I can understand because it is far more of an opinion and many English teachers abuse that loophole but a math teacher? Math is nice in that there are no in between answers. It's either right or wrong. Just my dollar sign. Zero two. Like most redditors I'm not a teacher. Most of my friend are teachers though, including my so, and whenever I go out I'll listen to a lot of conversation about teaching and students. We live in Canada, so we don't have no child left behind or standardized testing, and the school funding model isn't too badly broken. While none of my friends have been teaching for more than 7 years, I can certainly say that what's missing here is that teaching itself has changed quite a bit in the last 20 years. There is more emphasis on student driven or inquiry based learning in which the students basically learn by exploring with guidance as opposed to memorizing facts. This is supposed to ensure that students learn at their own pace as well as learn to use new media, but I think something that gets lost is the pacifying power of worksheets. There are a lot of kids with serious behavior problems slash disorders now and I think, based largely on the drunken ranting of others, so a grain of salt is recommended when teachers have to actively attend to these kids learning process problems become more obvious and kids who have problems with group dynamics have much more trouble. The other thing everyone complains about is cronyism in hours. I agree with the top sentiments here. A combination of testing requirements, low standards, and overprotective parents have led to kids having lower critical thinking skills and a lack of responsibility. I'm 25 now, and I noticed the change during high school toward passing the graduation test. The only reason they were teaching us was to pass the new standardized test and some teachers told us this straight up, then shook their heads. They were upset that their profession had been whittled down to nothing. I also noticed a growing trend of parents thinking their children were angels and could do no wrong. Luckily my dad had a rough upbringing, so he taught me that failure is bad and that I need to kick ass and be good at whatever it is I'm doing. 
I noticed throughout school that the new honorable mention mentality was becoming more widespread. No matter how bad you sucked, as long as you tried you got a ribbon. It's pathetic. School is not prison though, that's for sure. You can't just yell and scream and call a kid a failure and leave him behind. There needs to be a balance between nurturing a struggling student and punishing a lack of effort. Another thing that needs to be taught is that you gotta be tough if you want to survive as an adult because if you don't suck it up and learn to accept criticism you're gonna have a bad time. My wife is a teacher and since this implementation of common core, parents don't even have to go to the teachers anymore. They can go straight to the principals and have him look at the teacher's score record when their kid is failing. Their kid failing will reflect poorly on the teacher and not the student. The teachers gets marks against them when Jimmy doesn't do his homework for three weeks in a row. And that makes it the teacher's fault in writing and not the kids. She's sent notes home every week since the school year started to a kid's parents and all they have done is go to the app about how she isn't stressing the importance of homework to the kid. Another parent went to county officials because her kid was failing her reading assessment because she refused to bring her reading homework back to school. She swore she did it but left it at home week after week after week. The parents said, and I quote, if she's doing it, what does it matter if you see it or not? But the kid is failing, and that reflects poorly on my wife. TL. Doctor, the school system in America is turning into a joke. 